subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Reviews Nope. And today we're going to get into how to redirect an entire WordPress site or part of it. And you may do this when you're migrating from one site to another. So it gives your viewers a chance to learn about your new site before you delete the old one. You would also use it in a few other cases and one of them easily being that if one of your pages is not working and it's getting a lot of hits, you can redirect them to somewhere else, either to your home page or somewhere else. And the last that I'm going to point out is in my case, I don't have time to deal with the Tech Fusion Help site because I'm in school and few other reasons and I am focusing on YouTube. So I can redirect people to my YouTube page whenever they go to the Tech Fusion Help site. So with that, we're going to be using two things and the plugins is going to be redirections and pretty links. Now, both these are free. Pretty links you can get paid version, but I don't use it. So let's jump on in. Now with this, once you go into the settings within redirect, you need to go to redirects. Now, once you're here, you should see only add new redirects. This upper area should be blank because you don't have any yet. So from here, what you need to do is type in whatever part of your website you want to redirect. So for me, it's the tech views and help the entire website. So what I will do is a forward slash or put in tech views and help.com and forward slash forward slash works just as well. It says that's home. And from here, what I'll do is put in the target location, the full address. So in this case, what I did is I used something called Prelinks, the actual plugin. And what this does is a problem that's on YouTube is you're not able to link anything within the annotations, which is kind of a half backwards policy. In, and also same thing with the cards. And with this, you gotta have the first part of your website slash whatever. And Prelinks basically does a redirection. If someone goes to this link, then it takes them somewhere else. So in this case, if someone goes to this, it takes them to this, which is what we want. The reason why you would want to use Prelinks with this if you're doing a full-on redirection to a third-party website is instead of going to both redirections and prelinks to change things if you do use both then you can just use prelinks to change whatever that's needed for the third-party site and it will automatically be changed within here because of, of this. So instead of putting this into the target field, I put in the prelinks into here. And this creates a full on redirection to whatever that the target link is. Now for this, you can pick how you want the redirection done you can either do a 301 re redirection which is a permanent a redirect to a random post which might be interesting if you're on a new site a pass through which is why I got this a error or don't redirect at all 
so for me what I use is if I'm migrating to a different site I use a redirect to URL otherwise I use a pass-through and you can play with that what I'll advise you to do is have this page open and then go to the site or the link in this case it would be techviewsnup.com and I can play with it and what that will show me is if a error comes up or not and as you can see here you can see how many hits since you've done it and what that will do is it will just redirect people to here and there is a way on here to actually see what pages are getting a 404 which is an error and part of this is going to be blocked out for obvious reasons but basically you can see what pages are getting 404 and you know what to fix from there again I don't have time to deal with this so I'm just going to do a full on redirect and before I forget, the hits are in real time. So I just made this like a couple of minutes ago. But keep in mind, some of these probably are. In fact, I'm about to guarantee you all besides the ones I've done was bots. So keep in mind that it's not that your site's popular. It could potentially be bots. So as far as that goes, that's pretty much about it. So you will need to have the WordPress plugins pre-link for that particular exception if you're using a th third party and you're going to use pre-links anyways. Otherwise, you can just get redirections and install it onto your WordPress sites, go to settings, and play with that. Again, this has been Craig Bent, found on Honor Tech Beast Nope. And if you do have any questions on this, want to add anything to this, or want to just comment, go ahead and do that down below in the comment section. But if you like this, please leave a like, subscribe, share, and please feel free to follow us on Twitter so you know when new videos come out. If you don't like this, go ahead and leave a dislike and tell me why so I can fix it in future videos. Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder on our Tech Fuse. Nope, and hope you have a great day.